the process uh, that, that the millwrights go through uh, is to take the, the tools known as mill bills. These are iron-tipped uh, um, tools, very similar to a hammer, uh, but they function like a chisel. They will recut the lines. Uh, the millwrights would use a small sack called a bist, usually filled with, with cornmeal or some other ground product, occasionally with grains themselves, and they use that to steady their arm as they work their way across the stones. Now, the stones take a very specific pattern, and it's important that the millwright is aware of that and recutting the stones in the same pattern. There's different parts of the, the process. Uh, one aspect is using something called a paint staff. Now, the paint staff is coated with an iron oxide pigment mixed with water. It's then dragged across the stone. The purpose behind that is that it's giving uh, the millwright the knowledge of what areas of the stone are out of level. It will trace across areas that are too high. So that allows them to go piece by piece and lower those sections so that the stone is perfectly flat. The pattern is deeper on the inside than it is on the outside, and that ensures that the, the stones will cut the grain continuously as it works its way out, getting smaller as it goes along.